today working on my 2019 Tacoma. We're going to uh, put airbags under it. The airbags will be riding in a cradle instead of being attached to the spring bracket. So let's get the wheels off here and uh, go from there. All right, as you can see here, I've got a sumo spring and an add leaf. The add leaf is the second spring up from the bottom there. I'm going to leave it. The sumo spring is going to get replaced by the air springs. Uh, this setup worked really well when we went to Utah and Colorado, but the add leaf spring really isn't designed for all the movement it gets. They're more brittle from what I understand and they'll eventually break if you rely on them to carry all that weight when you're off-roading. They're more made for trailers and stuff. So, Okay, got the Sumo spring out. Put the factory bumper back in. Now the instructions say you're supposed to cut off that rubber part. So I bolted it back down so it'll be in a stable location and I'm going to give a Sawzall a shot. See if I can get it off there with a Sawzall. So stay tuned. We'll see what happens here. Seems like the Sawzall is working pretty good. A little bit of smoke. Good thing mama's not home or she'd be down here wondering what's burning up. All right. Looks like that did it. That was easy. All right, now it says to install the bracket and the air fitting on the airbags. So that's where we're going. Could put that nut fitting on that one and that nut and fitting on the other one. Okay, so I got the brackets on, then I went to put the fittings on, and the fittings they sent me in the kit are like quarter inch male threads, and I believe it's eighth inch threads inside. As you can see, that ain't gonna work. Anyway, I got a hold of the place I got them from, and they're gonna try to get me the right ones. Not sure what's going on. It's quarter inch hose they go on. That part of it's right, but the thread part is wrong. All right, now it says to install this cradle. So I'm going to use this cradle instead of attaching the airbag directly to this. To use the cradle. So as you're needing more flex or articulation, this comes up out of there. It goes back in it. So it's not attached to something. So we're putting these, putting these cradles on instead of attaching the bottom of the airbag to the plate. By the way, this nut here for this top bracket. Was 24 millimeter. So we're gonna do this cradle. Put it on here. And we'll just tighten them up. Okay, got these bolted down. did realize when I got to looking through these instructions on in the back in the beginning it tells you you should start with the driver's side then you get here in the back of it step six and it tells you to install this heat shield right here well I didn't do that so I would take this back off and put this heat shield on they give you two not sure why maybe if you have dual exhaust or something I don't know anyway so That'll go in there where that exhaust is at, I guess. Help protect it. 
Okay, I guess next part is to install this bracket here going through your frame. From what I understand, the, uh, the passenger side, which is the one I'm doing first, is the easier one because the gas tank's not in the way. But I guess this is a real pain in the butt over there on the gas tank side. We'll see here. That big bolt goes right through that hole right there. This bolt here. And over there you got a gas tank, I believe, so. All right, I got that bracket right here, kind of dangling up in here. I don't know if you can see it very good or not. Probably not looking into the light like that. Right here. I think to help hold everything together, I'm going to go ahead and bolt this bottom plate on. That's going to be using these bolts and nuts and brackets here. So we'll get that bolted up here. All right, got that bolted on. It's loose. Just left it loose. Tighten it later. Make sure everything's in the right spot. One thing you might want to be careful of is there's ABS sensor wire and brake line right there. We could pinch it if we're not careful. So there's room. Just got to make sure you don't pinch that when you tighten that bracket up. Get this thing up in here loosely. I don't have anything tightened up yet. This bolt right here, that's an inch and an eighth. So just so you know, when we had half or uh, nine sixteenths socket wrench, and I believe these are half inch here. So you'll need a half inch also. These down here, those are nine sixteenths. And here's what it looks like. Before it gets installed. Okay. I think I'm going to have to take off these brackets right here. At least on this side. It shows the slot. You can see that slot. In that bracket right here shows that slot to be on the outside but when I got to looking to me looks like this bracket right here can hit the shock or it could hit the shock I think I'm gonna turn that one around Put that slot on the inside so that don't happen or it can't happen. I don't know if that's picking up well on the camera or not. I'm going to turn that bracket around. I don't like that. I went ahead and turned both of them around because I had them on backwards anyway. Had them upside down. That U shape of that bottom bracket right there. It's supposed to go that way. I had it flipped over. Now the right and the long part of that bracket's on the inside of the vehicle where it's not going to hit anything, hopefully. But anyway, everything's tight now. Only thing I don't have is that fitting. You can see how this works now. Let the jack down. It lets you still have the articulation. All the airbags in there, but it's not connected to the spring. So most of the time it's setting inside this, but when need be, it'll come out of it. Pretty cool, I guess. We'll find out. Side two. This is the passenger side, if I didn't say that. Okay, this is the driver's side. Getting ready to do it. Finished up the passenger side. I think it turned out pretty good. Doesn't look like that the gas tank's in the way like I had been led to believe. Get that Sumu spring off and put the original bump stop back on. Cut it off. Cut the rubber part off as I did the other side and rinse and repeat. Here we go. I'm going to cut off this next bump stop here. Or attempt it anyway.
Here's that slot in that bracket I was talking about. The directions show the slot outside, but then to me it looks like it's going to hit that shock. So I'm going to point it in on this one like I did the other side. And the U shape goes like that the other side I put it on backwards had to redo it point that up I torqued those u-bolts for the springs after I had to take the u-bolts off to get that sumo spring off torqued those to 75 75 foot-pounds and made sure each of them had the same amount of threads sticking through. Once again, I have brake lines and sensor wires here, ABS sensor wires here that could be pinched, so we're going to be careful of that. Till I get the spring, the air spring they call it, installed. All right, this is what I just used to do that. That was kind of a pain. I guess that must be what they're talking about, the fuel tank being in the way. I was thinking it was the big bolt. Those two bolts up here are kind of a bear, but if you have one of these in a shallow socket, that did it. So. That was kind of a bear, but not too bad.
Okay, guess that was that. That wasn't too bad. I'm gonna get under there and check those four three eighths bolts on the back side back here. Make sure that I've got those good and tight. Check these half inch headed ones here. These five sixteenths bolts. Yeah. Check that one as well. Call this good. Run some air lines and figure out where I'm gonna put the Schrader valves at. Okay, so I got some fittings after getting the wrong ones in the kit. Got them installed, ran the air line. I covered the air lines up with some uh, abrasion protector type stuff. See here this red and black sheathing or whatever and then I put some shrink wrap up on it just to kind of hold it in place did that on both ends hopefully this is showing up here there's the airbag sitting in the retainer there that lets it float ran the airline through the frame and I got it coming back here. Let's see, I get a light here. Got it coming back here. And then around to the fitting. Did that on both sides. Two fittings. This is the passenger side here. It goes up there just like the other side. And there's the there's a fitting there. And a fitting there. That's about it. It wasn't too bad other than not getting the fittings I needed so I could do it all at once, but I think it's done. Checked for uh, air leaks. It says to air it up to 70 PSI each airbag. Spray it with some soap. I did that, and I didn't find any leaks. It seems to be holding, so I think we're good. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope this helped out. Kind of my first how-to video. Wish I would have done more on everything else I've done to this truck, but never thought about it. Anyway, thanks for watching, and please subscribe to my channel. Try to get some more of this stuff out there for everybody. Try to help them out. Take care.